What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. My allergies are crazy guys, so I apologize. Um, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Like I said, my allergies are just insane. I took an allergy pill earlier and uh, we are trying to live. Hi, Miss Patricia. How are you? So, um, an update on where I am with my um, string quilt patchwork junk journals. One second. I'm trying to I'm trying to make this bobbin over here happen. Okay. So let's see where we are. Oh, my covers there. They are. Okay. So I have um. We're making 12 string quilt junk journals, right? That's where we ended up. Last week we were working on them. Your allergies are bad too. It's terrible. It's terrible. So I have my covers right here. Count them. <laughs> There's 12. Uh, eight and a half tall, but with a five and a half inch cover. Trying to, they warp a little bit, but not as much as when I use stereo boxes. So you just gotta push them out until they're straight, like that. Um. Okay, so we got this done over the weekend. I took some time to cut down my signatures to size, which I cut all my pages down to eight by ten. Fold in half is eight by five. So eight by 10 is what I uh, cut everything down to. I also managed to finish uh, the, uh, the little hankies uh, that I used for the pockets. Hi, Miss Vanessa. Hi, Owen. How are you? How are y'all? So I, I have three of these uh, per book, so one per signature. We're going to sew them on right now. Um, I managed, like I said, to cut down all the pages. I, I managed to get six uh, three signature sets done. I still have to put together another six. Um, but let me show you the paper. That They're all the same, basically. Sometimes the page, obviously, the, the book pages and stuff aren't the same. But if you want to see some of the, the pages that I have in here. I have a lot of book pages in between printables. In between things I got at the thrift shop, book pages, different kind of lines pages. So here's just a little um, look at the signature. This is a like a 19, almost like a probably 1970s, I would say, um, songbook of American songs or something. So. It has pretty cool illustrations on there, and I think almost each one of these journals has those pages. I got this new paper on Amazon, which I think is adorable. So it's called the uh, News Paper Print this Paper or something. Um, I got like 500 sheets for like $10. I couldn't find the exact newspaper print line paper that I used to get but um I use this now so. okay I'm back um, and then I did uh, cut out enough of these hanky pages. Um, these are my printable uh, vintage linen set, one of them. And uh, it's this little hanky page that I actually printed on the back of scrap of paper. So it gives it a little bit more interest there. Here's a little uh, recipe book paper. And a printable here. From my um, one of my floral ephemera sets. And then on the inside is again one of my own designs in here. And uh, basically all of them are the same. A 
as far as the line paper, the order, the book pages are all different and stuff and the printable pages are all different, but that's the order they're all going to go into. And so that's where we are. Um, I need to add trim. And so these uh, pockets on. And then uh, tomorrow, when this is all done, and they're all basically signatures that are ready to be sewn in, I need to make the inside cover part. So that's another uh, heat and bond heavy ironing moment. <laughs> heavy on the iron action. Okay. So I'll be doing that tomorrow, and then maybe, maybe tomorrow night can sew them in. I'm not sure. That's what I'm hoping. Focus correct. Focused. Anyways, uh, that's where we are. Covers done, signatures half assembled, need to sew trim and pockets. And I have another six book books worth of signatures that I need to assemble and also uh, add trim. Maybe I'll get that done tonight. I don't know. I really don't know. Usually I say I'm going to get stuff done. And then after I go live, I go watch TV. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me get my bobbins made. I want to get two bobbins. I hope everybody had a good day today. I am so excited. Um, I got my shelves in today. Yay. I got my, I think it's five by five. Yeah, it's five by five cube, cubed Kalax unit from Ikea. Where are my scissors? <sighs> my Kalax unit uh, has come in and I am excited. So my husband's gonna put it together sometime in the near future. <laughs> I'm not gonna push him because Ikea furniture is never fun to put together. <laughs> so I'm just like, let me look into it. had to get it delivered. <laughs> this would not in any way have would have fit in our car or my parents' car. It would not have happened. So I'm glad we got it delivered. Um, now we just gotta assemble it. And I can try and rearrange my office here because I have all uh you know how I organize everything in the trays that I like. Well there's some trays that I have that don't have a space. So like my Christmas trays, they don't have a space behind me and I don't need them behind me because I don't use them every day. So I'm gonna put my Christmas stuff over there. That should free up a lot of space in one of my other um, shelves so that I can tuck away my extra fabrics. Now it's not on the floor blocking one of my other shelves. It's <laughs> it's a situation going on here in the car. Hi, Miss Tanya. How are you? Hello, hello. Okay, so um, first I got to find or, uh, or I'm going to put the trim, which is always on the first page. So I got to add this. Move some stuff around because I end up a little bit of space here. Okay, so I'm going to open this up, and then I need, oh yeah, my fabric scissors. Oh, yeah. All 
also, um, I ordered, I finally am down to like the last of the last of my doilies. So um, I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> Y'all, I use three doilies in every signature. So that's about nine doilies per journal. <laughs> so I have been going through them quite quickly and it's been kind of crazy. So I finally uh, broke down and ordered some doilies. I ordered them from Amazon. I ordered, there's so many doilies out there. There were these really cute, I didn't order them, but there were these really cute floral printed doilies. They were beautiful, but I was not going to pay $16 for 50 of them. Uh, I wanted to, but then I said no. <laughs> I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch on the widest, longest setting my sewing machine can go. But like I said, I did order some white doilies and some colored doilies. Um, and if I like them, I'll let you guys know. Um, also, what else? Oh yeah, I ordered, I spent quite a nice chunk of change on treat bags, paper, paper treat bags today. On Amazon also. I can't seem to find hi Miss Tammy. I can't seem to find the cute treat pack the treat bags I used to be able to find at the dollar store. They don't have them. So I had to order them off Amazon, <laughs> and uh, they were quite, I spent like $80 on treat bags today, <laughs> but I got a lot of them, a lot for $80, I think I, I think I got a lot, and I think I'm going to love them. So I can't wait to show you guys, they'll be here, I think the last of my things I ordered will be here by the 15th, I believe. No, the 15th is in a couple days. I believe by the 21st, by next week. By the 20th or so, I should have everything. I put my uh, trim on the outside paint, on the outside of the page here. Kind of try and get it um, right next to the middle of the stitch line in the middle right next to the middle of uh, the edge of the page right here is where I end up, where I aim for. That way I can look at this part over here and kind of set it to just the left of the page. about my purchases. Oh, this is a little tight. Let me loosen up my tension to one and a half almost. See how it starts to kind of, uh, well, you can't really see it here, but it kind of starts to like ripple the page a little bit, just a tiny little bit. So if I loosen the tension, it should help. That. Okay. So there's the first page. That is the front page. I love seeing the changes in the fabric here. That's like one of my favorite things about my trading. Second trim ends up being here. Two, three, four, five, eight, this is the page that I'm going to put the trim on. I didn't notice I had also put doilies on it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you know I could probably use these little pieces for something. I'm gonna pick them up. That's the junk journaler. These tiny little pieces are bright. <laughs> okay. This you guys. We are progressing on these. I think they're gonna be so cute. So they're all decorated. Hi, Rhonda. How are you, Miss Rhonda? Look at my, it's, this is my small wheel, too. So it'll be gone by the time I'm done with this journal, with these journals. <laughs> it'll be gone. I do glue just a little bit here on my doily so that I don't forget them. And when I'm sewing in the signature, so they don't get away from me. Also, that too, you don't want them to get away from me. So they show good. This paper is a little slippery to deal with. same color um, on the trim here as I am doing um, on the cover. So I'm going to be switching up my my thread colors here and there. Yes, Miss Rhonda. Like I said, I do it every once in a while for a long time. Like, I'll do it for, like, a whole weekend. Like, that's all I'll do is make pleats. And then I don't have to make pleats for a while. Because <laughs> I have these big old rolls. I have one more roll that's bigger than that. Just waiting for me. I still have more fabric if I want to cut up and make more. It's just, it's just, I, gotta, I gotta be ready, you know what I mean? At any moment to make ruffles. It's a very serious situation. <laughs> And now loosening up the tension, it stops uh, your stitches from kind of rippling the paper. So that fixed my problem. I forgot to mention that. It fixed my issue. But also, of course, the thickness of the paper also matters. Hi, Miss Cindy. I really don't mind that some stick out more than the other. I really don't care. It hides the fact that even some of the papers inside kind of stick out from each other. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. I need to um, put one of these little hinky pockets, which um, I'll print two pages on one to make these hinky pockets. Not really, this prints out huge. I printed it out in the tool. I think I'm going to put the first pocket right here. Mm, well, that's not going to work on all of them, though, because some of them have an actual book pocket, like a book page there. So, let's see where this is going to go. It can't always go in the middle. Well, I guess it could go. Well, I guess it could be different on every book. 
It'll be different on every book. I'm fine with that too. Okay, for this one, I'm going to put it in the middle. So I'm going to switch to straight stitch, longest stitch. I'm going to line this up on a pinch here. This just makes the cutest pockets. Bye, Miss Vanessa. Yes, it does, girl. just because I remember it too, but I normally don't I'm really worry about back stitching on paper. See, that makes the cutest pocket. I'm like addicted to adding these pockets to my signatures now. <laughs> it is a like the thing to do. That's kind of like right there. I glued on the pockets at one point and I was like, oh, these will look so much better stitched. So now I just stitch them. So there's one signature in this, in this uh, one journal. Only one signature down and uh, 36 more signatures to go. <laughs> I'm making 12 signatures. Oh, okay. wait. Yeah, I'm making 12 signatures in each, 12 journals, sorry, 12 journals, and each journal has three signatures, so 36 signature. Only that many to go. Okay. <laughs> so let's do that first. And I think some of the, some of the, uh, no, mm, no, I'm thinking some of this fabric is going to show up on the covers, but no, it's not. This is not my new fabric name. That's fine. It's raining there, Miss Patricia. What? What? I did not feel any rain today. I'm jealous. I am jealous for once of Arizona. <laughs> For once, y'all got it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I still have it on my straight stitch. Whoops. I need to go back to zigzag, longest, widest. Guys, I want good fabric scissors. I hate these scissors so much. They're 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 fine, but like if you want to cut a long stretch of fabric, you can't. So it's annoying. So I have these three by three cube shelves that I purchased. Well, I pu okay, I have four of them. Oh my, yeah, I have three. One I purchased from Walmart, uh, and it's fine. It's, it's fine. I got it for like fifty bucks on Walmart. And then I have this other set, exact three by three design, that I got from Amazon because Walmart didn't have them anymore. 
It's just not good quality at all. Like, they move. Uh, <laughs> shelves shouldn't move. But they move. And, um, I want to upgrade those to IKEA shelves as well. Hi, Miss Jeff. How are you, Miss Jeff? Hi. So, I want to upgrade those. There's a lot of things in the office I want to upgrade. <laughs> a lot of things I would like to upgrade. Where's the page? Some had such fun illustrations, and um, some not so fun, but I'm not going to talk about that today. What's going on, Miss Jen? How was your day? Let me get a hit of that strawberry chopstick <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I can't wait to get my tree bags in and my new doilies. I'm so excited. I didn't feel like it's just too hot to go around to the stores right now. Otherwise, I would not have really ordered my doilies from Amazon. Prices I got were okay, so. I'm fine with it. process but it just looks so cute. I really love adding these to my pages. Who doesn't love the ruffles? We had no electricity for about an hour today. Someone hit a transformer. Oh no. I hope it's not out there. You just you you finish your farmhouse gate home with the charm. That sounds fancy. Sounds real fast. Threads out the way slow. It ends up really well. I just have to go slow. <laughs> A little slow. It wasn't hot though, Jen, right? I hope not. I would have to um, move out of the country if the AC went out here in my house. <laughs> Let's see. I want this little bit showing. It's so pretty. So I had a nice relaxing day today, cutting down these signatures today, finishing that off. Um, finish printing off the papers. I like said I was cutting, cutting out the hankies, watching cult documentaries, and just having a good old time, you know? I was just, just really enjoying myself today on my work. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it was hot now. But you're hot. Your hot isn't really hot though, Jen. I'm just kidding though. It's so comfortable sometimes. <laughs> if it was 80 degrees or 95 degrees with no AC, I'd still be complaining. So I hear you. You know what I gotta do is I gotta deal with my scraps very soon. I have a lot of fabric scraps. 
I don't have paper scraps. I have a lot of that. Okay, so now I'm going to add a pocket. I'm making every journal different because they're all, they all have different pages and such. I will just put it in the middle of this one too then. Okay. Time for freaking pages. It's time for something. Kelly Snow is doing some pretty inspiring things over her channel for scraps. So she got me thinking about some stuff and some scraps. obsessed with making them for a minute. <laughs> for a nice minute. Okay, there's second signature. And all these fun roughly bits. Yay. Look at that. Just makes me happy right there. Okay. <laughs> just, just makes me happy. Okay, let's do last signature. tomorrow during the day if I don't have anything get in my way which shouldn't happen because I really don't want to leave my house right now like I'm really not in the mood to leave my house at all <laughs> until it's dark we are literally in the hottest days of the year I'm not in the mood to leave my house at all. I don't even want to leave my house at night, but sometimes we have to. Ugh. Ugh. It just it, it sucks to breathe out of here. Like, the air is hot. So you breathe in all this hot air, and then the hair, hot air, like, slaps your face. It's the worst. I hate it. But here I am. <laughs> Here I am, no plans to move, but here I am. You guys, my allergies right now, it's just not, <laughs> it's not cooperating. Are y'all doing with your scraps currently? Did you do a current scrap paper project? Perhaps. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. But I might follow, like I said, I might follow Kelly's footsteps. She has some really cute ideas. And um, she made some tabs, some like index cards with some tabs on it. And I was like, ah, I want to make those. So I got to get my, um, she has a, a tab punch. I have tab die cuts, so I have to work with those. I might need to be more than a couple of pages to get to manage up my scraps. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's been really wet summer here, and my mom said it's been super wet in Ohio too. Uh oh. We don't have that problem. 
Although it did sprinkle like a couple days, I think. Did. But nothing really more than we need more than that. Let's just say. Let's just say we need more. Yeah, it is a good bra. <laughs> Definitely, because we are going through some ish over here. <laughs> I've always lived on the West Coast, though, so I really don't know, no different. I would have no idea what to do anywhere else. I would just die. <laughs> Too windy, I would die. Too cold, I would die. <laughs> I survived the summers out here because I just literally don't leave my house if I can afford it at all costs. <laughs> I don't leave my house during the summer. Ugh. Ugh. It's just such a, it just, everything feels like such a chore. <laughs> everything, everything feels, everything burns. <laughs> That's done. Let me should add my pocket somewhere. See, that's why I can't always put them in the middle because there's some sometimes there's something big. <laughs> sometimes. Right here would be fine. It kind of covers up all these flowers. Um, is there anything else that I'm gonna say? No. Let me say it has to go there. Okay, let's do that. Here. I should paper clip these because it's kind of hard to keep these straight exactly. Like a stitch. What is straight stitch I can do? Flowers, if you open up the pocket, <laughs> if you want to do that, you can see. Okay, 
Yes, I can do some cute things in this. Patricia. Okay, so this one's done. So let's just put it together like this, just for now. But this one is all ready to get sewn in. It's got everything it needs. And I'm excited for her. Started another one, but I'm going to get off in an hour because my nose is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And this is after an allergy pill, so I can't even imagine. <laughs> If I hadn't taken my allergy pill, I, what I would be like right now. It's terrible. Okay, so let's do the signature here. Again, they're all pretty much the same pages. Of course, book pages are different. But they all kind of go in the same order. Oh, there's a giant um, uh, handkerchief that I just used as a pocket in the last term I know. They look so cute. I'm so excited. Just put a bunch of random pages in here. I had to get more graph paper because I guess I finished it off at some point. <laughs> and yeah, that one like traditional eight and a half by eleven newsprint practice paper I cannot find. I looked in all the 99 cent store, Walmart, Target, stationery sections. Could not find it. I did find it on Amazon, but I chose to go with, uh, let me show you guys. I chose to go with, it's called the newsprint practice paper. Yeah, right there is the little lines on a newsprint practice paper. I really like that paper. It's really cute. So I picked that one. They're all kind of the same thing. But just kind of like confused. I mean, I guess right now I shouldn't be confused um, with COVID and everything. The stores, they just don't have as much as they used to. So, oh, shiz. Okay, that's not to be one moment. Do that again. Let's do it again. Probably why I can't find as many treat bags as I used to be able to find. Y'all, tell me why I can't find eyelets at, at Michael's. Michael's has pretty much gutted their entire scrapbook sections. They're pretty much at a minimum, and everything they have on their shelves is pretty much like, almost like a multi-use you know like all the hot tim hopes but tim hopes is scrapbooking and it can also be altered art so i think that's kind of what they're going for because i could not even find eyelets the ladies at michael's didn't even know what eyelets were very strange very strange michael's um visits these last few uh, their only paper pads at michael's are their own brand I don't know what's going on, but maybe scrapbooking isn't as popular. I don't know. I'm very confused. I don't know if anybody else has uh, felt this way. I know Miss uh, Monique, she used to work at Michael's. When I told her about the paper pads, because they used to have like Prima and stuff, and I, there is no Prima at Michael's no more. And uh, she said, yeah, you know what, I did notice that. But I said they only, it seems like they only have their own brand right now. You know, I'm not throwing these away. I said, it seems like they only have their own brand right now. And she said that when she went, she was like, yeah, I noticed, I, I see what you mean. 
So there's something fishy going on at Michael's, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's happening. There's nothing I can <laughs> tell it right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. My throat is like so dry out here right now. I've been chucking water. The edges of my lips are cracking, you guys. Like, that's how hot it is out here. And I guess I need to drink more water, but like, the edges of my lips are cracking. It's not cute. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot. <laughs> so I'm trying to find eyelets, but um, like I said, I. I think I went to Hobby Lobby and I didn't see any. <sighs> Unless I missed it, I didn't see them. And maybe I'll have to look online and then go there. I don't know. I didn't see them at Hobby Lobby. I didn't see them at Michael's. I didn't even know what they were. I didn't check Joann's. I have looked on Amazon and I cannot find. I ordered some eyelets. They were the right size, but they didn't work in my, um, and that was a while ago. They didn't work in my uh, croc, croc, crocodile, crocodile, <laughs> crocodile. They didn't work on my crocodile, so hi, Miss Sand of the Sun. Hello. I had to, I just kept them. I don't know. Just like whatever. But um, they don't work, so I'm not about to sit there with their hammer set and put in an aisle with a hammer. That's crazy. But I can't find the eyelets. The eyelets they have that are for crocodiles specifically, they're pretty pricey. So I kind of hesitate on buying them. But I cannot find an alternative. I might have to like look on eBay or something. I don't know. I don't know why it's so hard because, like, the last time, the last time I was looking for eyelets, I found them at the thrift shop. So it's just like been very hard for me. I found this big old bag of eyelets at the thrift shop one time. I bought some from Amazon, and they didn't work on my crop out either. See, you see what I'm saying? And it's like the right size and everything, but it won't work on it. So okay, I'm glad I'm not alone. But like, what do we do about it? <laughs> Because I am running low on eyelids for me. It's a situation. It is a situation. Right size, I bought the 316. That's what I, that's what I purchased. Uh, did not work. I want to pay the high price. I don't want to. Me either. Me either. Especially since it's like, do you want like $13 for like 50 eyelids? Like, get out of here. Wait. That's crazy. But, oh my god. I really don't know an alternative. Like I said, I might have to look on eBay or just like, exactly. Me too. Uh, Sandy, me too. I might have to resort to actually like looking for them on Google. <laughs> Crazy ideas. But I might have to do that. Um, I just don't know this. I really just don't know. Oh! Snap, stay on. <laughs> I dropped my signature and then I hit the camera. It was just an avalanche of. of, of other than this. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> My mistake. I don't even know how I did that because the camera was pretty far away from me. <laughs> Yet I still manage. Okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I have to hit the camera one time per episode. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Liz. How are you? Okay, this goes. Here. And this is what I'm working on. Yeah, let's do that. 
that over to you. I think I'm just gonna buy a set that comes with islands and a crunchy thing. It'll probably work out better. You know, it's just I I want you know, I wanna say that it's like a oh it's a pandemic situation. But like honestly, I have been looking for islands for a while and have not had much success. I might actually have to go with that. I was thinking there's this uh, local craft store, local uh, scrapbook store. They might have islands. <laughs> I don't know how cheap they are because scrapbook stores are notorious for being pricey. But at this point, I don't know if I have another choice. That looks cute right there in the pocket. I kind of love it. It sounded like rain, but it's just wind. It's just hot wind. <laughs> Somebody buy me a house in Hawaii, please. Just, just, I'm not asking for a lot. <laughs> I'm not asking for a lot. Oh my god, when I spilled my what? Y'all, today's not my day. Well, it was until I went live and I just put water on the table. Is that rain? Is that really rain? pouring outside. Y'all, I thought it was just wind. It is pouring rain out there right now. Pouring. I thought it was just wind. Y'all, my life right now is a mess. It's just a big old mess. But it's raining, so that's good. Yeah. A few that come with a crocodile smoosh down nice and around. The ones I bought smoosh down. Shape. Yes. Well, the ones I, I bought, I bought some at the, I'm telling you, I bought some at the thrift shop just randomly one day. They were there and I was like, okay, that's interesting. I'm going to buy these. And they work with my crocodile. I don't know what brand they are. They were no name brand, all in a bag. You should go right in the rain. It's hot out there though. It's a hot rain. And it just stopped. Because we were talking about it, it stopped. <laughs> At least it'll be like two degrees cooler out there right now. But you know what the problem with the heat and the rain out here is? Like, it's cool that it's raining, but also that means the roads are slick. So, well, it might be slick. So when the sun is like hitting down on the pavement... It makes the oil that's on the pavement rise up and be on the surface of the pavement. And then when it rains, that oil and the rain basically turn into like a black ice situation. And you could possibly, uh, you could possibly skip. You love the roll, the rubber roll? Oh, that was a short one right now. Not really sure. I'm probably not going to have any left after these journals. I have another roll that's huge compared to this one that I've used up already. <laughs> when I went to grab the paper towels, I heard the raindrops on the exhaust. What is that thing? The, the thing that like picks up the smoke from the oven or the Stove. <laughs> That's the word. Stove. The vent. That vent. I heard like little pitter patter on the middle vent. And I was like, oh, that is rain. I have not been keeping up with the freaking weather because I just know it's hot. <laughs> hot with a 0% chance of rain usually. 
and it doesn't change for another couple of months. <laughs> so like, why bother? But it's raining. It's raining. Exhaust stuff. There you go, Miss Sandy. I can't talk right now. <sighs> that thing. <laughs> Does the thing from the thing, and it hangs on the thing. I use eyelets that I find in the sewing section of my dollar store. They are a tailor for my tailor. Oh. My, I just remember. Do you know where Michaels, the ladies at Michaels, after I searched up and down in the scrapbook aisle, or what's left of it, the remnants of the scrapbook aisle, I asked, because I will look up and down, up and down your whole entire store before I ask, because I hate asking. I hate, I used to work retail and I used to hate like being asked, oh, where's this? And I'd be like, it's right behind you. <laughs> so I will look up and down the store of every aisle I could possibly think of before I bother anybody. I feel like I'm bothering them. That's why I say it that way. So I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find it. And when I asked, they said, look in the sewing section. They wanted me to use eyelets for like shoes or shirts. Like, no, that is not, like, that's where they sent me. That's how, I'm telling you, diminished the scrapbook section is at Michael's. They don't even have eyelets for a trunk, for a scrapbooking. And I'm shook and appalled <laughs> at the audacity. <laughs> oh, 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 it's still writing. Oh, there still wants to write. Okay. Okay, Mr. Rain. We get those slick roads in Florida too when it first starts to rain. Yes, exactly. It turns into black ice. And like, I, I think I've said this before on my channel, but like I slid one time, like three inches towards the, towards the curb. And I just barely touched the carpet. It freaked me out. I don't like to go out. If it rains, don't ask me to leave my house. I hate leaving my house. Right now. Oh, it's really pouring out there. Oh, oh, it's like a little mini hurricane over here. Oh, oh. It's like, oh, y'all thought I didn't have it in me. Showing off right now. Showing off right now. My rain dance worked. <laughs> All right, y'all, I would normally stay a little bit longer, but I have to keep, like, putting, I have to keep sneezing, like, once every five minutes or less. So I'm going to sew a little pocket on here, and then I'll be done for tonight. I am not, <laughs> if I'm not as sneezing. Oh, my God, my ears are popping. <laughs> it's how congested I am. My, my ears are popping. And um, if I am not as sneezy tomorrow, <laughs> I will um, come back live and uh, we'll work some more on these journals. It might be a while until these are done. But you know what? That's fine. That's what we do here. 
we take our time and we make fun of the junk journals. I think we put it on this page. I think it's Okay, Boo Boo, I hear you, boy. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> he wants to be with his dad so bad right now. Give me a moment, Boo Boo. Give me a moment, Boo Boo. Okay, we're not going to get this right up here. And. Thank you guys so much for joining me though. And thank you everybody for your support over at my shop at sonomyrose.net. If you're looking for uh journal purples, check me out. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> my allergies. This is really annoying. Guys. But anyways, I hope everybody has a good day tomorrow. And I will see y'all tomorrow night. So thank you guys so, so much. And that, oh, that needs to be cut down. Interesting. Okay. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.